Yeah, show me your room and show me the hotel. Oh, did you? Okay. <laughs> Festival. I am in the Cube Hotel eating a Cube brownie mm. and a Cube tea. It's the cigarette good. is not Cube, I mean, almost. Mm. <laughs> and here I am with because I'm a, a godmother of Asheville Festival. I'm very honored. Um, it's a pity we don't have time running too much thing to do in Paris. And, um, but I love it to see all these films. They are very inspired, and and I, I love it the, to be part of this this amazing thing that the Amper and you, mm -hmm. you, you, you allow of all of us to to, to be part of, of that. We're gonna do something. Um, let's see. Let's see what happened. Not even me. I, I I didn't know yet. And tell me about the film you're gonna show on Sunday. Pietro Cuevas, the producer of Francesca Pei, is going to be tomorrow here. And uh, we make this funny, amazing, and great film with a lot of amazing actors and actresses in, in New York. And it was so, so funny. And I was dressed in Versace, and all my hairstyle was each day more amazing than, than the day before. And we did with <laughs> In the next scene, we want to put what because, and uh, my my uh, it's so funny because my character the first time you see is a very, very bad woman. It's a uh, Piach, and uh, she is the first time we see. I have my Lynchston uh, tableau behind me, and I'm looking ah, oh, and I say, do you mind if I smoke while you eat? Because my toy boy is is is. is uh, how you say is uh, doing that thing? Mm. Eating. Eating <laughs> between my legs. <laughs> Let's see like that. <laughs> Let's say that. that. And I, I, I ask him, do you mind if I smoke while you eat? Hey. Hi, Bam. Bam. Without my bloody shades. No, no, no. You're so great. You're no, so great. I'm a drop. Yes, you are. Ah. Shades, get back here, Rossi. Pam is here. I have to go back. Oh, she's okay. still filming. This film is, is a Who did the musical hair? comedy. This was an, an Argentine guy who was amazing. And, um, and the, we did uh, uh, Francois Nars makeup and uh, Versace clothes, and we did amazing things. So, so funny, so funny. With wigs and cars and and uh, the performance was were amazing, singers, amazing dancers. You want to have a lot of fun with this film. It's so 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 beautiful. No, I perfect. think fashion is so important in film, even when there there is no fashion at all, <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes the the films that they don't pay attention to that, and even that there is an still is something that's going on even. There is nothing. There is something. But it, in the in the Rosalini film, like I'm crazy about Cervana Mangano, mm. of course, of course, mm. Anna Magnani. <gasps> She's my favorite. Of course, her, one of my my favorite films her. is Roma Cita Aperta. Mm. When she's running, there is no stillness, but she's amazing. The way she fall fell fell down when she's running behind the the camion, who is the truck who is is bringing her, her husband away and uh, all these neorealism film also of course Rossellini but the Visconti amazing mm. films amazing. can you imagine Visconti even with Maria Callas fell, fell in love after uh, she, she, she saw uh, um, uh, holidays in Rome 
with Audrey Hepburn, and she wanted to, to be like Audrey Hepburn, and it was the click to make her become thinner and to, to put uh, this, this glamorous Maria Callas that all we know. And um, fashion is, is something very important in cinema and life, and and um, can imagine. Um, but now it's becoming, uh, I think, much more important also in film. And then perhaps we're going to go to the golden age, like uh, in the films of Gloria Swanson's, like uh, somebody's calling you. Go. 